Hello and welcome to this capsule video. We're going to be looking at email integration and email templates and AI. So I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to pop straight into capsule to have a look at um, the email integration. So to integrate your email, and up until relatively recently, we could integrate Outlook 365 and we could integrate Google, but we couldn't integrate other types of email. We can now integrate other emails. So go to your name top right, go to account settings and mailbox connections. And here you can see that we've got send emails with another email provider using SMPT. So click on that and follow those instructions and you will um, be able to connect your email. So uh, it will ask for some details. So then you will be able to see that you have actually integrated your um, your email and pop back to um, over to account preference, my preferences, then go to my mailbox connections from my preferences and you can add your signature. So here we've got edit signature because I've already added my signature, but I've got my signature there. So do add your signature into your capsule after you've integrated uh, your email provider, because when you go to a record and you will be able to now click on send email, then the email signature will appear there. So the recipient of the email will see a perfectly normal email that you would have been sending from your email provider. And a copy of that email will also go into your sent items. So we're gonna just say, hello, um, uh, test, whoops. And um, we're just gonna stick test in there and we can change the font, etc. Um, and the bold italics, and we can even um, add um, links in there if we wanted to hyperlink something, and we can click on send. So that will wing its way over to the um, uh, over to um, my email that I've sent it to. And just while we're on this page, we're just going to look at uh, the email templates and AI. So to set up an email template, go to your name top right, go to account settings and pop over to email templates. And you can have email templates on people and organizations. We can have email templates on opportunities and we can have email templates on projects as well. So there's been some enhancements recently and we can now add information that is stored within custom fields into our email templates. So I've created, just to show you how that works, I've created an email here, follow up networking meeting. So the areas that are in the blue are actually uh, custom fields. So I've added first name, which event and date of events. So I can save that. And if I pop over to back to Lucy Lemon, and what I can then do is add the tag networking because I created networking as a data tag and I added some custom fields to it, which were which events and date of events. So when I click on the networking tag slash data tag, up pops those two custom fields for me. So I'm gonna put which event, I'm gonna put X, Y, Z and the date of event, I'm gonna put the 21st of Feb. I'm gonna press save. So now when I go to send email, I can choose email template. I can choose follow up from networking meeting. And here we've got the email template popped up and populated with the information that I put into the custom fields. So a real um, efficiency there, saves lots and lots of time. We can click on preview and we can see how that email will look. So, and then we can just send that off to Lucy Emmon. So that has now gone. Now, if we wanted to send an email, but we weren't sure about what to say, we can click on send email and we can make use of the AI content assistant. So I just clicked on that little uh, black square at the bottom and I'm gonna type in, um, great to see you at the um, networking event earlier. And I'm going to do a short email, but I could do a personalized cold email or I could do a rewrite. I can use a professional tone, a casual tone, a straightforward tone, a confident or friendly. I'm going to do friendly. And I'm going to then click on generate content. 
and the Capsule Content Assistant comes up. Hi, Lucy. I hope you're well. It was great to see you at the network event earlier. I enjoyed our conversation and look forward to keeping in touch. Best regards, Julia. And if we wanted to keep the bulk of that, but maybe edit it slightly, we insert content. And I tend to do with best wishes. So I'm just going to pop in with best wishes. And you can see that um, we can then click on preview. We've got the email signature and we would just uh, click on send and that would go off to Lucy Lemon as well. So we have just seen how we can use AI and we have just seen how we can use templates. So let's pop over to Outlook now and see how that looks from Outlook because this is um, really uh, good stuff as well. So here we are in our, oh, here we are in our Outlook and I'm just going to click on um, the inbox and what I'm going to do is find a sent item, something that I sent earlier. This is just hello. Uh, this is to um, uh, Lucy again. <laughs> um, so what we've got here, it was great to see you at networking event. So this is the um, actual email that I sent from Capture. You recognize this. So as I said, it gets stored into the sent items of our um, email provider. So here we can see that that has happened. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, to another email. I'm going to go to one uh, to Andy from Vividly Simple. He's my IT chap. He's used to me sending emails randomly. So we've got an email here from Julia Dem to Andy at Vividly Simple. And if I wanted to upload that to Capsule, it's really easy to do. I would click on send to Capsule. So send to Capsule and then the screen changes. So we have here the capsule um, block, if you like, on the right hand side. Andy Steer is already in my capsule. If he wasn't, then we could add him from this um, screen here and we can store the conversation and we can store it on Andy's record or an opportunity or on a project. Now, just to say we have to have added Andy to the opportunity or to the project or both within capsule so that capsule will uh, identify the opportunities and projects that relate to Andy and give us the chance to save the conversation onto that opportunity or that project. Now, the really good thing is that the entire email thread will be stored from now on regarding um, that subject. If the subject line changes, then you'd have to just go through that process again. But all emails in that conversation will now be stored on to Capsule. So I'm going to click on store conversation. And the conversation has been stored. There we go. You could change that if you wanted to. Now you can also in automatically store all emails for that contact if you wanted to. Now, another um, great thing that you can do here is you can add an opportunity or a project or a task from within Outlook onto your Capture account. So if we click on add task and then scroll back to the top. So we've got the description there. So that might be just something like follow up. And we can select the category. So that might be something like contact nurture. So you can see all the task categories that I have in capsule are showing here. And then we've got the date that we want to actually for, um, have that task pop up. And we could set a time if we wanted to. We could change who it's assigned to and we'd save it. And we can then um, rest assured that we're going to be reminded to follow up with Andy in a couple of days time. I pop back over to capsule and go to Andy's record. Then we will see the email that I have just sent him and we will see the task that I have created to follow up with him. So I hope you found that quick fire video useful. Do let me know if you have any questions. You can contact me on julia.blake at blakeconsultants.co.uk and I'm um, very happy to help and enjoy the new functionality.